In this video, we're gonna draw the arms of our character at Orville using simple shapes. I'm gonna hit Control U on my keyboard to bring back in that tracing image. Now you could probably already see what shape this is gonna be. We got a rectangle here, we got some circles, and then we got some ovals. And that's really what it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new layer and it's gonna go above the eye layer. So I'm gonna select the eye layer, go to new layer and select a vector. And then I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna call it arm F for front. And with that layer selected, let's go over to the shape tool, hit S on the keyboard. I'm gonna have my auto fill, auto stroke on. I'm gonna create a rectangle. Go ahead and drag that out. And then because this is an arm, I wanna create an elbow and I wanna create the joint where it bends. So I'm gonna come here about halfway on this elbow. I'm gonna hit A on the keyboard to create my add points. I'm gonna create a point here and a point here. The next thing I'm gonna do inside of this arm layer is I'm gonna create the hand. To do that, I'm gonna hit S on the keyboard for the select shapes. And now I'm gonna grab an oval. Now by default, it's an oval, but if I hold down shift, it's gonna create and constrain to make it a circle. And one thing that I just saw is we need to update our fill. So this is gonna be a really good opportunity to show you the select shape tool. Because the shape is already created, we now need to select that shape to change the color. So to do that, I'm gonna come over here to the fill panel and I'm gonna select the select shape tool or Q on the keyboard. Now, as you can see there, it has this shape selected and it shows the color here and here. So to select that shape, I'm simply just gonna left click it. Now this may be difficult to see with the tracing image. So let's go ahead and let's toggle that off. So control U and there we go. We have a way that we can see that that shape is now selected. You can also come over here to the checker selection and check that on. And that also gives you another way that you can see if something is selected. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to this eyedropper tool and I'm gonna click and I'm going to release here to create that arm color. And then going back to S on the keyboard, I'm also gonna make sure that that shape is already the correct color and it is. I'm gonna hit Control U on the keyboard to bring back that tracing image and let's go ahead and trace that image. So I'm gonna hold down S on the keyboard to create a circle. Something else that I can do to keep the circle contained from where I am drawing, I can hold down Alt and then Shift and then drag. So there's a couple of ways you can do it, but if it's hard to remember all that, just know that holding down Shift and dragging down creates a circle. So we'll just use that. I'm gonna hit T on the keyboard and now I'm going to move that so it's basically where we need it. I'm gonna hit S again on my keyboard to select the shape. And now I'm gonna create ovals. So I'm gonna create these fingers right here. So let's go ahead and let's drag out one oval really quick. And that looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit T on the keyboard and I'm gonna go ahead and drag it over to where this is roughly. And then using the transform points tool, I'm gonna to go ahead and rotate that. You can see it's a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and let's shrink it down using this node where the double arrow is showing lets me know that I can scale it down. And let's go ahead and drag that into place. And that looks pretty good. Now from there, just like what we did with the hair, I can just hit Control C, Control V to copy. If you wanna recreate that shape and keep uh, practicing that yourself, you can go ahead and do that. The last tool we're gonna to use in this video is what's called the Hide Edge tool. And it does basically what it sounds like. So if I come over here to the fill panel and I select this icon right here, this is my hide edge tool. And all it says right here, click on an edge to hide or to show it. So I'm gonna bring back my tracing image and I want it to look like the image before. So I'm actually gonna click one of these points here and I'm just gonna drag these in and I'm gonna drag these points in. So all I did is I just took the transform points tool and I just clicked those points. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. That way, when I hide these edges, it's hidden within that hand. Before it was out here, so if I hid that edge, you can see what it looks like when I render this. It has that space right there where it has no stroke. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to take and drag those points to that hand. And then with my hide edge tool, H on the keyboard, I'm gonna hide that edge, I'm gonna hide this edge. So something you may have noticed is the actual shape order of these different shapes I created. If we're thinking about perspective, this finger is actually gonna be behind this finger as well as this finger being behind this finger. So to order these shapes, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the select shape tool and I'm gonna select the shape and simply hit down arrow on my keyboard. See that? It now has that shape below the other one. And I wanna make sure that this shape is below this one. So I'm just gonna quickly just drag this one over top. Okay, that one is not below. So I'm gonna select this shape Q on the keyboard and I'm gonna click the up arrow. So now it's gonna be up. 
And now I'm gonna grab this shape one more time. And now I can see that it's under the other shape there. And I'm just gonna tweak this a little bit so it just looks a little bit better. So if I wanted to, I can come in here and I can fix this shape a little bit. And that looks pretty good. It's not perfect. And that's because we're using shapes. So if you wanted to use the add point tool, you can get in there and, and refine it a little bit more and it won't have this curvature to it. This is just a really quick and easy way to show you how to create this hand by just using shapes. And that's it for this video. I know right now things look a little off, but don't worry, we're gonna fix that at the very end. Right now, we're just gonna create the shapes. We're gonna get everything in there and then we'll go back and we'll refine as the last video of this section so that we can get this character looking just like the original. I'll see you in the next video. Want to learn how to take your drawings and bring them to life? If you want to learn more about character design and the Moho drawing tools, be sure to check out my step-by-step -step online course that teaches you how to take your character designs from paper to animation. Want to take the course? Use promo code CHARACTER2019 and get the course 50% off. Link is in the description.